Now we want to look at finding the volume for a pyramid. We mentioned this last week. I don't know if you guys remember what I told you it was. But the volume for a pyramid is going to be one-third. Now, I'm writing a capital B here. And we need to understand what this B means. This B right here, when you see a capital B, means the area of the base. So finding the area of the base is important, so you multiply that times a third and times the height. Of course, remember the height is just, it's going to be the distance from that vertex at the very top here to the base. And the, the big B right here is just going to be whatever the area of the base happens to be. Now, it doesn't have to be a square base. It could be a rectangular base. It could be a circular base. It doesn't matter. As long as this shape right here is maintained as you go up to the top, where it's still proportional as you go up to the top. So if I were to say this guy right here has a height of 3 meters, and the space measures 8 meters by 5 meters, I could find the volume of this very easily because I've got a formula. So the volume is one third. How do I find the area of the base? Because what's big B? How do I find that? Eight times five. Right, the base is just a rectangle, right? So this is going to be eight times five, and what's the height? Three. Wasn't the height given as three? See the problem for what it is. It's just a big multiplication problem. If you can reduce the third, the, the, the fraction away, then go for it. Can that three reduce with anything? What can it reduce with? Three. It can reduce with a three, so this guy gives me a one. So then what's my volume here? It's 40, and what are your units? Square? Nope. It's going to be cubic units. And, and here's why it's going to be cubic. What would be the units for the area of the base? If we're talking about area, it should be square units, right? So basically, this guy would be square units. And then the height would be another factor of units. So two factors and one more factor would give you cubic. You can do that with units, whether it's meters, inches, feet, miles, whatever. All right. So let me uh, try another uh, picture for you and see what you can do. I mean, sadly, I think all of these are <coughs> not all the same. Oh, you know what? Jayoni Day. Let me do this guy. What do you guys think about that? Now, are you already saying no to this? Ugh. So basically, I've got a weird shape here, right? Am I going to be able to figure out what this guy is? And who knows? Maybe I should make this solid here for you. Maybe that makes it stand out a little bit better. Does it look a little bit better for you? All right, let me give you some units here so we can play around with this. If I say this guy is 7 inches, and this is 10 inches, with a height of 15 inches from 
here to here. Then I say this guy has a height of, let's see, I'll go, I'm going to be nice to you. I feel like being nice today. For that. What do you think you would do about this guy, finding its volume? <coughs> what do you see here? And when I say what do you see, go back to being in a kindergarten class and playing with blocks. Blocks had a very, like all the blocks that you played, those, those wooden blocks, like all the cubes were the same size. Then you had columns that were all the same size, or you had you know, rectangular solids that were all the same size, right? But you would stack them together and you would make little you know, castles, or you'd make a house or a bridge or something with them, right? And then some bully would come over and knock them down. You remember those days? Mm -hmm. Good times, right? So, what is this guy made up of? Well, he's made up of, he's, you've got this pyramid here at the top, right? And at the bottom you have a rectangular solid, yes? Okay, this is a little rougher for drawing than I would have liked. So you're basically adding these guys together, do you agree? One of these has a very easy to find volume. Which one is that? Who's the easy one to find? The rectangular solid. Because this guy is 7 inches by 10 inches by 15 inches. Okay. So for this guy right here, what would you do? How would you find his volume? What was that? Length times width times height. So that would be, let's see, let's write this. Length times width times the height. So that's going to be 10 times 7 times 15. What two numbers would you multiply first here? You could do 7 times 10, but I'm going to save the 10 for the last because 10 is going to be easy to multiply times. Because to multiply times 10, we just have to do what? Add a zero. Add a zero. What's 7 times 15? It's 105, right? So this is 105 times 10 is what? Is that 1,050? What are your units, though? Cubic inches, right? But what about this pyramid? What's the volume for the pyramid? Not one half. Okay. It's one third the area of the base times the height. Now, one third, how would you find the area of the base of this pyramid? Seven times ten. Right, this is a seven, and this is ten, so that's going to be in here as seven times ten. And what's the height? The height of the pyramid is not 15. Look at the picture. Nine. The height of the pyramid is only 9 because it goes from the <coughs> top of the pyramid to its base. And the pyramid starts right here. So it's going to be times 9. Is there any reducing that I can do here? Three nine. So 3 goes into 9 3 times. Now I have to multiply 7 times 10 times 3. Make your life easy. What is it? Do 7 times 3 first, 21, and then 21 times 10 is what? 21 times 10 is 210. Okay, so when I put all of this together, I have the volume of the pyramid.
plus the volume of the rectangular solid. And so we do the math here, that's 210 cubic inches plus 1,050 cubic inches. And what is that? So that's 1,260 <coughs> cubic inches. So just like we have with the rectangle with the uh, triangles cut out of it, you have a figure that's made up of two solids, a rectangular solid and a pyramid. So we find the volume for each of these, and we just add them together. <coughs> 